Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'll show you side-by-side -side comparison of Logitech G502 Hero versus Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed. This is just an information video about the specs of these products, so if you want to know the actual prices, check links in the description down below. The Logitech G502 Hero is a better gaming mouse than uh, the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed, even though it has a cable. Spec-wise, I'm talking. The Logitech has more programmable buttons, as much more consistent sensor, and a better mouse wheel with uh, LR tilt and an incre uh, increment unlock button. It also uses Logitech G Hub, which is compatible with both uh, Windows and Mac OS. The Razer is wireless and has the same click latency as the Wired Hero. The Razer is also more suitable for people with small hands and both palm and claw grip. This is a very uh, interesting comparison because, uh, because Basilic X Hyperspeed is somehow standing in the middle. It's, uh, it looks like MMO mouse, but it's not. Uh, it has this uh, little nine, nice thumb rest, but it has only I believe six or eight, eight buttons. I would say that it's uh, six, yeah. But on the other hand, G502 Hero has 12 buttons, uh, free wheel option, and also very nice thumb rest. The other disadvantage, even though the Basilisk, Basilisk X is wireless, you need a AA battery to power it up so it's not rechargeable. The only way that I see hyperspeed or the Basilisk X hyperspeed performing better is while traveling, where you don't really want to bother yourself with a cable. When we go into portability and the volume of those masses, you can see that a Basilisk is a bit bigger but the 113 grams is way uh, less than 170 of G502. Look from above, I would say they are really looking almost identical. And with the palm grip, the Razer Basilisk fits even the smaller hands. As you can see, battery type is one AA battery and obviously no cable. What's in the box? Even with G502, you get some extra weight to adjust uh, your, your mouse. And with Basilisk, you, get, you can get only the battery to power it up. Sensor model is with G502 Hero 25K, starting at 100 CPI and maxing 25,600, adjusting every 50 CPI. With Basilisk X Hyperspeed, the sensor is Razer 5G. Minimum uh, CPI is 100, top is 16,000, and adjusting steps every 50. As I said before, the difference is double in favor of G502, with 12 uh, mechanical buttons and only 6 with Hyperspeed. 24 steps wheels on both, but uh, Hero is using uh, or has a free wheel option. Both of them are compatible with Windows, but Logitech G Hub is compatible, compatible with Mac OS as well. I would say uh, the choice is pretty easy. Logitech G502 is way better mouse, even for FPS, which is kind of kind of funny. But the only problem is the cable. So share your opinions in the comments. Uh, what are your thoughts on these two products? Th thanks for watching and see you on the next video.